Justice for Justice for Justice for Justice for Justice for Namaste friends, another Sunday and it is Virat Hindustan Sangam show Words of Wisdom Gyan Ganga on the social media channels and we are back with another interesting topic SSR murder outcome of the investigation and this is episode 183 and we have with us our patron president of Virat Hindustan Sangam Dr. Subramaniam Swami and along with it we have Sri Iyer of the P Guru's portal and his today's appearance is you very unique because his book Who Killed SSR it's a book of fiction which he calls it and uh, and he is out the book is out it was released in Mumbai at the Mumbai Marathi Patrakar Sun on last Friday and yesterday it was formally released by Dr. Subramaniam Swami at Delhi at the Constitution Club. So in the next 30 to 40 minutes, we will be discussing with Dr. Swami and Sri Ayer regarding the SSR murder outcome of the investigation and also, uh, also on the new book written by Sri Ayer. I have to thank my co-host Arvind Chaturvedi for his support and uh, also our technical team led by Ashish Shetty, Tejas Navalgul, Ishwar Iyer, Gadgi Rakesh, Swami Nathan, Vishal Mehta and Ajesh Nair for their background support week after week to put out this program together and also have the background material. So without much delay, it is over to Dr. Subramaniam Swabi to start this discussion because you know viewers that I know many of your viewers have been impatient asking Dr. Swami to take up this matter and all the background. Uh, Dr. Swami today is on our show and he will explain all the circumstances. And with this, it is over to Dr. Subramanian Swami to start this discussion on the SSR murder and the outcome of the investigation. Over to Dr. Swami. Thank you, Jagdish. Uh, uh, we have also got uh, the reason for this program today is the new book. Uh, although it's supposed to be a uh, fiction um, of uh, Sri uh, Ayer, and but it has got all the facts, and so I strongly recommend everybody to buy a copy. Uh, I think he's putting it on Amazon, so you might get it from Amazon. He'll himself tell you, and um, and uh, it, it, it's a very timely book because a new development has taken place. Why, after all these. Uh, uh, months and months and months of keeping quiet, why we have suddenly taken this up is because uh, uh, Roop Kumar Shah, who works in the mortuary, who is uh, part of the uh, autopsy, he did the autopsy work, he has suddenly decided to go public within an interview with the TV9 channel, which is in Marathi the Marathi language version of that. And in that, he said 
what was not surprising to me because I knew it all along. But it came from a person who actually uh, handled the body of uh, uh, Shashant and prepared it for for uh, for autopsy and then uh, later on uh, st uh, stitched up the body for taking it to the uh, to the um, uh, to the uh, to the uh, cemetery. Uh, excuse me, to the uh, uh, Samshan Ghat. So. Uh, here is the, uh, the words of Rup Kumar Shah made to the, uh, uh, to the uh, TV thing in which he said that they were, when the body arrived and he looked at it, it looked like murder to me. There were beatings uh, galore on the, on the body. It seemed arms and legs of Shushant were broken due to this beating. So uh, he said it was. Uh, I immediately brought it to the notice of uh, of uh, of the doctors and said this looks like a murder uh, and it is, it's not a suicide or anything else. So they told him shut up and do your uh, work, which is that of, uh, of you know cutting up the body, etc., so that we can inspect. Uh, you have not to think of uh, anything else except to that. So he was silenced. And obviously, this was a guilt feeling that he had over the years. And suddenly, he decided to go public. And I'm glad. I congratulate uh, uh, Roop Kumar uh, 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 Shah for having come out at this stage. Now we have got the, the uh, anchor that we needed for getting this matter uh, to a finality. And I will certainly take this up with the uh, with the CBI, and then if the CBI is not forthcoming in view of this new uh, uh, revelation by someone who was there, who dealt with the body, then I think I'll have to go in a PIL to ask the court to reopen it. And it's not uh, unusual that in the past we have had such situations where it was closed, it was uh, you know treated as over, and then. Uh, it happened that uh, something happened and so the whole thing was reopened. So now, uh, before I hand over to him, I would say only this. There was also an autopsy report done by the All India Medical Institute specialist, Mr. Dr. Gupta, who had done quite a good job uh, in uh, in the case of Sunanda. But uh, I, I, and those, that time I had come to know him quite well. But I found him uh, terribly nervous in this matter. And uh, he also buckled, and uh, I, I believe he buckled. Uh, he buckled and uh, just said, this is, looks like suicide. And he never mentioned anything about all the breaking, the breaking of the bones of uh, Shushant and so on and so forth. So uh, I think uh, there was a cover-up. And that cover-up, uh, and Shushant was a man who was uh, uh, worshipped by the youngsters all over the country. He was a tremendous... Uh, cinema actor and highly educated and I had been told uh, recently that he was working on a system by which all this paraphernalia of the Bombay uh, um, you know settings and so on for making films can be uh, changed uh, can be reduced to a, uh, almost a room operation with electronics so he was after all he was a had a degree in, in engineering, and he had some associates with him uh, who seemed to have disappeared or run away uh, for fear. Naturally, I don't blame them. Uh, and that may have been the motive for killing uh, Sushant. So, before I hand it over to uh, 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 Ayer, let me say that. Uh, the, there are so many contradictions in the versions of the police and the and the all the others. Uh, hanging, uh, they say that he hanged himself, but he hanged himself by standing on his uh, on his bed and then throwing his uh, pajamas uh, on the, to circulate around the uh, fan, and then he hanged himself uh, by by that. Now, it turns out that his height was such that he could not hang himself because he was almost touching the fan. 
uh, up, uh, up above his head. So how can he be uh, uh, be hanging? So they came up with some lame uh, explanation that he was uh, sitting, uh, standing on his knees. <laughs> In his bed, I'm sorry, it's a grim matter, but I have to laugh that he was actually leaning down and then, uh, uh, you know, hanging himself and all this kind of rubbish. So uh, this is one. Then his door was locked. Now, remember, he came out He at 2 a.m. in the morning. Sushant called up his sister. Her name was Priyanka and he had a talk with her. We don't know what uh, talk that was. Uh, I don't know whether the uh, authorities bothered bother to get a, a, a transcript. Then at, uh, in the morning, uh, he calls, uh, uh, I mean, he called his sister around 9 a.m. in the morning. And then at 10 a.m., he called his uh, cook. Now, his cook and his personal friend were both living with him. And they didn't seem to know that anything has happened. And at 10 a.m., he uh, asked uh, uh, for a glass of juice and some tablets that he now swallows with at that time. It was at 11.30 when the cook went to knock to find out what menu should be, uh, what should be the menu for lunch, that they found the door locked and there was no response. And then he, uh, he called the key, uh, the, the, uh, you know, the key shop man to come immediately over. The key shop man came and then he tried several keys and he got one to open it. The moment he opened it, uh, this uh, servant and the other man they pushed him aside, took the key, locked the door again, and then physically lifted this key man down the stairs and let him out on the road and said, don't come back ever again. Why would they do that? No explanation. No explanation by the uh, police why they didn't find that out. So now I, I, I want to ask you that you then they are these people open the door the, the cook and that uh, they go inside they do all these things instead of calling the police and almost 45 minutes later they call the police and the police takes another an hour to come and god knows what all had happened this never happens in a murder case you just lock up the proceedings and and wait for the police to come but none of that happened what has been rearranged and so on and quickly they took them to a faraway place called Cooper uh, um, Mortuary uh, in Bombay, not the one nearer, nearer, which was much more modern. And that was a dingy place. And they took him in the night. Uh, there were, you know, very weak uh, uh, bulbs. And there, this rook now says, I saw his whole body full of injuries. No report in the, in the autopsy. Not a single uh, injury has been found. And then he says his legs and arms were broken. And uh, all this I had to, you know, uh, to redo by putting plaster and so on so that the autopsy can go on. And uh, uh, ultimately, uh, the autopsy was done in, in dim light. And uh, he was the next morning taken and cremated in a faraway place, and, you know, telling nobody. If they told the whole Bombay would have been a sea of, uh, of, uh, of uh, supporters. So, this is a, uh, a clearly a murder, and uh, it seems to be a murder not of the jealousy or anything else. It's not uh, uh, Hindu Muslim as original people thought. Uh, they've been saying politicians are involved. Politicians maybe have been involved. I haven't got investigated that. In the case of the secretary of uh, Lady Secretary of uh, Sushant, uh, the Disha or something named like that. And she was suddenly found uh, flat on the cement, uh, 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 you know, uh, part of the uh, walk, uh, walking part of the 11 story building. She had, uh, they said she had fallen down and she had committed suicide and so on. No autopsy, nothing. She too, people believe, was murdered. And she was at a party when where some politicians were there. They have not been identified. I'm guessing is no use. Uh, but uh, there may be a connection because everything he did in that um, discovery, <laughs> electronic discovery that he was working on, 
a new method of making films, which would not require all this kind of waste of money and you know uh, stages and things like that. Uh, he uh, uh, he had only confided with this uh, with secretary, maybe because that's why she was also murdered, and so her murder also needs to be now uh, brought in together. I am going to write a letter in a day or two to the CBI director saying, why have you not come to a conclusion? It's now such a long time. And they say CBI, uh, I had written a CBI earlier on also. I had wanted a CBI inquiry, take it away from Bombay and the Bombay thing, because that time there are all kinds of problems with the uh, home minister. Home minister then went to jail on some fraud and so on. So I, I think he's got a number of now. I don't know whether he's come out uh, now or not. Or he's out on, he certainly, if he comes out, he'll be out on bail only. So the Home Minister has gone to jail. The Police Commissioner has been uh, not given an extension and he's been sent off. So there are so many things. And if I talk to any police, senior police official who come to meet me because of my Z security, they have to sometimes come and brief me about the dangers that I face. Uh, when I ask them about this, they say, please don't ask us this question. Uh, so he presented, I mean, I find this laughable because policemen being afraid of a civilian asking a question is something which is very extraordinary. But anyway, all said and done, we can't allow a person like this to be murdered like this, and uh, we're, and you know, and then everything being fudged. And uh, so, therefore, on forward, uh, I would compliment. Uh, our friend uh, Shri Guru, Shri Guru as he's called now, but his name is Shri Ayer. <laughs> and he, he's a hot shot, uh, uh, you know, um, um, uh, in the electronics field himself. He lives in the uh, area where uh, all the premier uh, electronics companies are there. Apple is there. And uh, he has got so many, I think 38 or 39 um, uh, um, uh, you know, patents, uh, patents, huh? yeah, well, patents. yeah, patents, yeah, is <laughs> what the issue. And so, this is the man we have got, uh, Sri Ayer, all the way from United States, uh, California, is here. And we want, we'll give him a full chance to say whatever he wants to say. You know, our time limit, and uh, and please dress it according to that. Thank you very much, uh, uh for uh, your patience in listening to what I had to say. Thank you very much, Dr. Swami, and uh, and a shout out to all our viewers to please like, share, and subscribe to uh, the VHS channel. Uh, VHS channel could do with your subscription. Uh, it has been growing very well, and we would like to continue to grow so that all the younger generation will get educated on the five principles that Virat Hindustan Sangam espouses. This is a non-political organization, and we are trying to, uh, you know, help Sanatana Dharma, do, you know, find its true place in the society. And with that, I'd like to go back to the topic. Um, viewers, we have seen how many actresses and actors killed in mysterious circumstances, right from Divya Bharati, Sri Devi, uh, Sunanda Pushkar, Sushant Singh Rajput, Disha Salyan. I mean. At Jia Khan. The line just goes on and on and on. And what I have done in this fictional book, Who Killed SSR, is try to connect the dots about all the news that was spreading around that time and make a cogent story. And I was particularly intrigued by the death of Disha Salyan. I mean, she was a manager. Why was she thrown from the 11th floor? What did she do? And, and this, you know, somehow people don't want to, you know, investigate this or whether that angle is not being pursued. Everything seems to have been done in a hush-hush, in a hurry. And now most of the evidence perhaps is destroyed. And in such a case, how does the CBI reconstruct what happened and find out the real culprit? So with zero evidence, with all witnesses going silent and many who are dead, in fact, I'm going to uh, walk you through some of the acquaintances of Sushant Singh Rajput 
who are either dead or are missing. So I'm just going to share with you a slide deck where I'll walk through the dates and the time that they went missing or they died. Can we have the slideshow, please? So this is my book. This book is available in ebook form on, on Amazon right now. Anywhere from the world, you can download it today. And the paperback version will be available in the next couple of days. It's just a matter of going through the uh, Amazon paperwork. We're almost there. So that will also be available. We have copies to sell. So please stay tuned. If you want the paperback version, it will be available in the next couple of days. Obviously, we wanted to do it today. But sometimes, you know, uh, things don't go exactly as planned. Next slide, please. Oh, I can do it. So Sushant Singh Rajput. He sla died slash committed suicide. I'm still trying to give the benefit of doubt on the 14th of July. Ju I'm sorry, 14 June 2020. And like Dr. Swami explained in great detail, he was found hanging from his uh, uh, fan. And, and that doesn't make sense by the person being so tall. So there is clearly something that is going on than meets the eye. Why would somebody hush it up you know, in such a haphazard manner? What were they trying to do? All these things are questions that perhaps my book tries to answer. And I would urge you to look at that book, read that book, just to understand what could have led to this multi, uh, double murder. In fact, in reality, there is there are many other people who have also gone missing or have died. Here we go. On May 14th, Manmeet Grewal, another upcoming movie actor, committed suicide. He was also known, a good friend of Sushant Singh Rajput. Preksha Mehta, she was a TV actress. She died on May 26th. This was not in Mumbai, but in a different town. I think it was Indoor. And there were talks about how she may have been uh, assaulted repeatedly before she died. Again, a very young uh, actress, life snatched away. Krish Kapoor, this person was a casting director. And he passed away on the 31st of May. Disha Salyan, this, the manager of uh, uh, Sushant Singh Rajput, on June 8th. And she was the one who was thrown from the 11th floor. And, uh, you know, unfortunate that it's not much is being talked about, about her. Here are some interesting characters that also died on the same day, the 14th of June. Samir Bangra, or Bangara, I don't know how exactly to pronounce his last name. He was the co-founder and managing director of a company called Qunki, Q-U-I-K-I. So it's a digital media company. And he was also a very close friend of Sushant Singh Rajput. He was fond of riding sports motorcycles. And there was a road accident on the same day that Sushant Singh Rajput died. This person also died. Next, Anandi Dhawan, another acquaintance of Sushant Singh Rajput also dead on the 14th of June. Vijay Salgaonkar, another acquaintance, and this person is missing. I hope the CBI finds out where this person is and, you know, gives them proper protection so they can extract the truth. They don't even have to say what they found. At least they should be able to know what his version or what he knew and what he saw. And you have another gentleman called Steve Pinto, who died on June 30th. Now, some of these people died in accident. Some of them died of natural causes. But the amazing thing that ties all of them is the fact that they were all close friends of Sushant Singh Rajput. Were they all part of his venture? Only the CBI investigation will find out. In my book, I have not had so many characters. I've tried to simplify it. So when you read it, you can understand how the sequence of events might have progress. There's another person called Samir Sharma. He passed away on August 5th. All these were Sushant's friends. There is a story that you can follow to get a little bit more detail about all this thing. And that's a link that I've given. And I'll put that link as part of the description so that you can go and click on that. Now, let's get back to the main uh, story. So, so much has happened and now you have a change in government and it mystifies me that this, despite the change of the commissioner of police of Mumbai, uh, Parambir Singh, and a few other uh, senior officials 
And despite a change in government, why is the public being denied the truth about what really happened to Sushant Singh Rajput? What is it that is stopping them? Now, if it is something that is damaging to the Mara, uh, Maharashtra Vikas Agadi, the MPA, that is a coalition consisting of Shiv Sena, NCP and the Congress, why is the BJP government holding back on releasing that data? Are they trying to time it such that it will be just released before uh, the municipal elections for Brihat Mumbai Corporation? I mean, I think that's not right. I mean, not every event has to be politically made capital of. I, I have a feeling that, you know, people deserve to know the truth. I mean, these are people that you could associate with. So Shan Singh could be the boy next door who always had a smile on his face, who always greeted you, asked you about how you did. Disha Salian also. I mean, what I'm trying to say is, what? why has human life become so cheap that somebody brazenly comes in and knocks off anything on everything that they think is inconvenient? These are some of the questions that I'm asking, and I've tried to answer some of these things in my book, at least as a viewer and a reader, you can understand how many different things happened. A lot of uh, stuff has happened. Remember, this was still high COVID time. The second wave, I think, either started around that time or, or about to start. So a lot happened. And yet we are still waiting for answers. I mean, Dr. Swami mentioned about uh, uh, Sunanda Pushkar. And what happened to her case? Still, the case is uh, languishing in some court or the other. And every other day, we hear that Mr. Sashi Tharoor is going to be joining the BJP. I mean, this is Congress having a field day at the expense of the government. I mean, why can't the government come and say this person is a murder suspect? And we are not going to touch him with a 40-foot pole. So, Dr. Swami, maybe you have some insights into this. Perhaps you can share because you, I think, were in the loop when the initial days of Sonanda Pushkar's death, where I think you had a lot more information. Where is all that stuff, sir? Uh, one minute, Dr. Swami. One yes. minute. Okay. Yes, yes. Continue. We can hear you. Not yet. Uh, uh, yes, you. Uh, was uh, uh, founded in a seven-star hotel, seven-star hotel in diplomatic enclave of India, the most prestigious uh, posh area of Delhi. Uh, it was sought to be very quickly passed off as a suicide. And uh, uh, some people came to me and said, this is not suicide, and see, please, can you do something about it now? Uh, that time, the government was a Congress government. And that is, I'm talking about January uh, 17th, uh, 2014, a few months before our government came power. But uh, uh, that time, the uh, All India Medical Institute, uh, the same Dr. Uh, Gupta, so performed a brilliant uh, operation, very gutsy. In the uh, face of everybody, despite the Congress being in power, he came and addressed press conferences and said, no, this is not a ordinary suicide. There is elements which show that it is seems to be murder. And therefore, a full, uh, I've done a, a forensic uh, analysis and I've given the reasons. And this uh, should be taken up as that. And uh, uh, nothing was done. Uh, till the uh, BJP came power, and then of course uh, the police also become more receptive, and an FIR was registered, and the FIR registration, um, was, you know, the police wasn't doing enough, so I got a CBI and an ED in the investigation also. Uh, Surandar's body also had a large number of. Uh, of, 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 of cuts and bruises and so on. So, you know, a person committing suicide is not going to have that. So that was one thing that was suppressed. The other thing that was suppressed is that they said her um, uh, husband was, had gone to, uh, had gone to uh, uh, attend a Congress uh, general body uh, in a meeting in uh, Talcotra grounds. And so he was not in the hotel. That is, I prove, was not true. 
uh, he had come back in at 11 o'clock in the, when around the time this supposed to have been uh, uh, supposed to have happened and uh, so like that uh, I got and then you know the, the CCTV are all switched off by the courtesy of the of the hotel so all this uh, and you know uh, all this put together and the, the hotel owner was a Keralite and uh, Shashi Tharoor is also Keralite and they used to use that hotel very very frequently uh, now uh, so I made a, 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 a raised an issue then I went to the high court saying that the CBFI is not enough now they must uh, come out with a with a report and uh, decide whether they want to pursue the case or not that was uh, okay, it was done, and a fire led to a, a case being registered. But just as it was about to be handed over to the CBI, uh, mysteriously that judge was transferred, and in came uh, a judge who had a visceral hatred for me. The very first day, he said, "I will do this to you. I'll finish you. I'll that, that, and so on." Well, I mean, uh, he didn't know that I have friends too. And uh, but he dismissed my case, and I went to the High Court, uh, Supreme Court. But then the Attorney General, uh, K. K. Venugopal, made sure that uh, Mr. His name is Murli Dharan or something uh, was shown his place, and he was then shunted to Bang Bang Punjab. Then he went to uh, Orissa, and uh, whatever chance he had to become. Uh, Supreme Court was all gone, but it's a very sad case that a man, uh, you know, starts attacking me instead of uh, going into the whole thing, uh, into into the and especially when the previous judge had uh, reserved his order, saying, "Okay, tomorrow I will order a uh, a full fledged uh, court monitored in uh, you know uh, trial." So after that, I had to fight in court, and finally a trial has begun. He is on bail. He the the uh, the level of, uh, of of proceeding is very high. But then suddenly, I don't know whose whose intervention. I can guess who it is. I don't want to say it here for no reason. Um, that that it just got frozen. It's not moving forward. So I think um, uh, this is something also that uh, we need to have pressure. In the meantime. Uh, uh, Shashi Thuru has been um, playing with and uh, in interacting with a lot of our BJP people who are in high society, and they, you know they uh, they uh, go on. So I don't want to take take up your time because this is the the Sushant thing is in fact uh, far more uh, for the masses, the youngsters, the people. They, you know you have to have faith in the system. You got to solve this problem. If you don't solve the problem, people become cynical. So therefore, uh, what you have done is a great human service, and you have me. You need to now look at this uh, uh, fellow from the mortuary. Um, uh, this uh, Shah, person yeah. who Shah. Uh, Shah Roop Shah, you know, for, find out whether you can uh, talk to him. Jagdish is in Bombay. He knows almost everybody there, and uh, then uh, you know. We're, we're, I will write a letter to the CBI that either you can get moving or I will go to the Supreme Court like I had to do for Ram Setu and so many other things and uh, in many other 2G. I'll ask the Supreme Court to monitor uh, this uh, this matter and so that we can uh, get to the bottom of who and why Sushant Singh had to die. Yes, Dr. Go Swami, I want to, uh, sir, sorry to jump in, sir. I want to mention to our viewers that yes. uh, there was a significant contribution from Dr. Swami in the way the story goes in my book. And because we were talking about this, how come all trials don't seem to go to their logical end? Is there a way? <laughs> Is there a way? And, and, yeah. and, and Dr. Swami suggested that according to the Indian Criminal Procedure Code, if you do this, there are a few steps that you need to do. Then... No one can stop the trial from proceeding to That's its right. logical end. On a day-to-day -day basis. On yes, a day-to-day -day. Day -day basis. And, and yeah. for this, what needs to happen? How can that happen? 
that is also described in my book because it's not just about Sushant Singh Rajput. I took that because I was looking at the list of people who seem to just like that, you know, get snuffed out. That's the only way I can put it. Everyone seems to be connected with Bollywood, and uh, you know, and I think human life is precious, and I don't think it is right for us to just you know move on to the next news cycle to the next sound bite. We have to stop take stock first you know f- find the truth put the right people accused behind bars and make sure that the system will not let this thing happen again bollywood has to be it these people have been having a free run for far too long dr swami this is my two cents and again my humble pronouns to you sir if you hadn't suggested that i should write this book perhaps i might not have and it it but it once i started writing the thing just flew and uh, i now i have the book and I have to mention that it was Dr. Swami's suggestion and his encouragement that made me write this book. So do read that part. He has always been telling all of you from 10th class to 12th class or somewhere around that time, understand law. You need to understand law because everyone is protected under the law. It is just that you look at a policeman, you're afraid. You look at um, a judge, you're perhaps afraid. There is no need to be afraid as long as you know where you stand with respect to the law. Thank you, Dr. Swami. Yeah, let others uh, have their uh, thing, then I'll come back in the end again. Yes, sir. Uh, Arvind Chaturvedi? Is he on? Uh, the yes, line? Swami uh, and Sri uh, Ayer, I have uh, some important question. My Hindi press Buchunga, Taki Marejo Darshak, Puri Kargam Dekrehe, or Unki Hindi me Ruchi or Dakshtahe, Unko Vikuch Patalagi. May I question hai, Jo Sri Ayer Jin or Tayahe? जब महाराष्ट्र विकास अगाड़ी की सरकार थी उस समय एक बहुत बड़े शक्तिशाली मंत्री का नाम इसमें आया था और यह कहा जा रहा था कि चूंकि सरकार का दबाव है सरकार का प्रेशर है इसके कारण यह इसकी जांच पूरी तरह नहीं हो पा रही है अब जबकि भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार वहां पे है तो भारतीय जनता पार्टी के लोग जो यह प्रश्न उस समय उठा रहे थे और जो उंगली सरकार के ऊपर उठा रहे थे वो अब कहां हैं अब वो चुप क्यों हैं ये एक बहुत बड़ा प्रश्न है दूसरा प्रश्न मेरा ये है कि आप अपने सुविधा इस अनुसार इसका उत्तर दे सकते हैं दूसरा प्रश्न मेरा ये है कि सुशांत सिंह राजपूत बिहार से आकर बॉलीवुड में जो जनप्रीति जनप्रियता या लोकप्रियता लो, उन्होंने हासिल की थी इससे एक बहुत बड़ी चुनौती जो established माफिया है मैं उस पूरा वर्ग का खुलासा नहीं करना चाहता एक वर्ग है जिसका बॉलीवुड पे बहुत बड़ा दबाव है और कंट्रोल है नियंत्रण है उस वर्ग को एक चुनौती एक पढ़े लिखे व्यक्ति ने बिहार से आकर दी जो नेशनल फिजिक्स ओलंपियाड का चैंपियन था और जैसे कि आपने बताया इंजीनियर था तो उनको लगा कि यह उनकी प्रभु सत्ता को चुनौती है बॉलीवुड उनके हाथ से निकल सकता है यदि यह नियंत्रण चुनौती दी जाए तो इसमें बहुत बड़ा षड्यंत्र हो सकता है उन लोगों का जिन लोगों का बॉलीवुड के ऊपर दबाव है चाहे वो ड्रग्स से जुड़े हों अब एक बहुत बड़े जो फिल्म निर्माता हैं उनके घर पे एक पार्टी हुई थी मैं नाम नहीं लेना चाहता और उस पार्टी में बड़े-बड़े फिल्म कलाकार भी थे उनका भी इस केस से कहीं ना कहीं ताल्लुक जोड़ा गया था और ये बातें हशस कैसे हो जाती कैसे इस बात को दबा दिया जाता है और लास्ट अंतिम प्रश्न में डॉक्टर स्वामी आपसे पूछना चाहता हूं आप इस देश के कानून मंत्री रहे हैं क्या कुछ ऐसा है कि जो हमारी न्यायपालिका है जुडिशियरी जो है उसके ऊपर तमाम कंट्रोवर्सी या विवादग्रस्त जो मामले होते हैं उनमें किसी तरह का राजनीतिक दबाव होता है क्या जो अभी विवाद चल रहा है कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट के जजेस कैसे अपॉइंट किए जाएं कॉलेजियम में किरण रिजुजु जी की जो चिट्ठी गई है सरकार के नियंत्रण कहा गया है कि सरकार चाहती है नियंत्रण हो क्या यह बहुत बड़ा प्रश्न इस दृष्टि से नहीं है कि इतने बड़े-बड़े मामले होते हैं और उस मामलों में कुछ नहीं होता कभी-कभी बिल्कुल मामला साफ हो जाता है दबा दिया जाता है यह बहुत बड़ा प्रश्न है डॉक्टर स्वामी आप अपने अनुसार इसका जवाब दे सकते हैं श्री अय्यर जी जो हमारे जो पूर्व प्रश्न है उनका जवाब दे सकते हैं जी श्री आई आई कम टुवर्ड्स द एंड या गो अहेड सॉरी सर आपका प्रश्न थोड़ा लंबा था 
<laughs> can you just tell me again what the first question was my first question was about the government now since the government has changed uh, ah. the bjp government has come they were raising questions about the control of a minister of a particular family ha mera ye anuman hai ha mera ye anuman hai arvind ji and uh, doctor sahab to varish neta hai wo mujhe correct kar sakte hain dekhiye mera ye anuman hai ki ye prabhutva jo kendri sarkar hai ye har mudda jo ke apne liye positive hai yani apne liye jo ek boost de sakti hai isko political time par hi isko is par uh, you know roshi dal rahi hai is tarah ke hum samjho aapke paas gas stove hai to uska jo setting hai na sim mein ya low mein ya high mein ye is tarah se calibrate karke karte hain ye kya hai ye isse kya hota hai na aapko kabhi kabhi momentum jo hoti hai cbi ki jo momentum hoti hai investigation wo ruk jati hai ab jab ruk jati hai to shayad kuch की क्लूज मिस हो जाए और इससे इसका फल स्वरूप क्या होता है अंतिम में जब ये केस कोर्ट के सामने जाता है तो कहीं ना कहीं ये लोग बच जाते हैं कहीं कि ये ये एविडेंस ठीक नहीं था या और कुछ हो गया है विटनेसेस रिकैंट करते हैं अपनी टेस्टिमोनी को इस तरह से हो रहा है तो जब लोहा गर्म है तभी हथौड़ा मारना है ये मेरा मानना है ये थिंग इज के आप इस तरह से सरकार नहीं चला सकते ये मेरा मानना है डॉक्टर स्वामी आप कह सकते हैं कि मैं क्या गलत हूं या सच सही हूं देखिए मैं ये नहीं कहूंगा कि बीजेपी कांग्रेस की तुलना में या जो पिछली सरकार थे उसकी तुलना में और भी बुरा है जो आज आप देख रहे हो वो तो कांग्रेस जमाने में नेहरू के काल से अनेक होते थे श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी की हत्या हुई कोई जांच नहीं हुआ दीनदयाल उपाध्याय की हुई कोई जांच नहीं हुआ ललित ललित दीनदयाल उपाध्याय एक ट्रेन में जा रहे हैं और उसको कोई धक्का देकर बाहर डालता है और उसकी लाश मिलती है कि वो लेटा हुआ है और दोनों हाथ को ऐसे उस और एक हाथ में पांच रुपया के नोट है और सेशन जज ने कहा कि जो नौ लोगों को आपने पकड़ के कहा कि इन लोगों ने किया है ये सब बकवास है ये हमारी कानून का अपमान है और इतने बड़े आदमी का ये अंत होगा आ, ये सब कहा है परंतु तो किसी सरकार ने उसको छुआ नहीं हरेन पांड्या गुजरात में कोई नहीं इसके इसके लिए जांच करने चाहते हैं तो एक तरफ ये है कि लोग समझते हैं कि ये नहीं ये डीप स्टेट एक चीज को कहा जाता है अमेरिका में आई थिंक आवर फ्रेंड शशांत में जो यंगस्टर्स ने जो दिलचस्पी दिखाई जो जो उन्होंने अपने समय का दिया और उसमें भी मैंने देखा कि मेरे ऊपर लोगों ने जो दूसरे पक्ष के लोग थे उन्होंने नौजवान से मेरे मुझे गाली देने के लिए किया कि एक और वकील भी आ गया माता पिता दूसरी बातें कहने लग गए तो इस कंफ्यूजन में मैंने सोचा मैं सबसे अच्छा होगा कि सीबीआई इंक्वायरी करा के फिर मैं पीछे हट जाऊंगा तो वही किया अब सब भाग गए अब कोई नहीं है जब मैं जब निकल गया तो सब निकल गए तो अब ये मुझे ये जो मौका मिली है कि एक हिम्मत वाला रूप शाह जो वहाँ ऑटोपसी में यानी जो लाशों का जो जांच करते हैं उस उस व्यक्ति ने हिम्मत की कि एक टीवी में जाकर इंटरव्यू देकर सच बताई है और ऐसे लोगों को हम आज उसके पीछे नहीं खड़े होंगे तो कोई ना कोई वो जाकर उसकी बुरी हाल कराएगा कि ताकि कोई और ऐसा किसी को हिम्मत ना हो 
कि जाकर वास्तविक एक टीवी को बता सके तो अब मैं आज बुरा है कल बुरा इसमें मैं नहीं जाऊंगा क्योंकि सब अपने हित को देखते हैं और राजनीति में किसी हालात किसी हालत में जीत कर आकर मिनिस्टर बनना या प्राइम मिनिस्टर बनना इस प्रकार से जो चलती है उसमें कौन किसको किसकी मुसीबत पैदा की ये ने कोई देखता है कि आखिर में देखता है कि भाई ये हाँ बड़ा चलाक आदमी है इसने इधर तिग्रम करके ये बन गया वो बन गया ये आज वो जो जो एक लक्ष्य हो गया है इससे ही हमें बच के रहना है डॉक्टर स्वामी यू यू हैव मेंशन दैट यू विल बी फर्स्ट राइटिंग टू द सीबीआई एंड इफ द सीबीआई डजेंट एक्ट और सीम टू बी एक्टिंग देन यू विल मूव अ पीआईएल एंड देन आस्क दैट द कोर्ट शुड मॉनिटर और एट लीस्ट लुक इन टू द मैटर दैट्स व्हाट यू आर सेइंग सो आवर व्यूअर्स वुड लाइक टू नो व्हेन यू विल बी राइटिंग टू द सीबीआई बिकॉज़ इन द चैट बॉक्स people have been wanting to know when you will write to the cbi and when you think all this process will start because they are very curious with none of the other people are making any such steps people are just taking advantage of the situation well they don't uh, because somewhere or the other some uh, there must be some uh, uh, something which must be holding them back but the fact is i also have this problem that i have so many things to do tomorrow i am going to uh, to uh, to a management institute in uh, in uh, in kerala where i have to speak on the uh, whether india will become a developed country in the in the next few years now for that i have to study i have to do so that takes time i am uh, involved in so many other cases which uh, which i have filed uh, on the question of the reserve banks uh, fraud uh, in bank uh, bank loans um to g uh then i am now the national herald i mean the, the issue is that i must do a good job if i must do a good job and nobody is coming then obviously even if i take time it's only i who is going to do it so i will uh, do it uh, after collecting all the materials i'll sit down and prepare a uh, thing i had already given a long letter to the cbi and i had discussions with the cbi and it is ultimately that which led to the cbi taking up this whole matter now having taken up the more matter i can't make them go faster if the prime minister's office is not in favor of letting it go faster now i'm not saying the prime minister is behind it if any officer of the pmo just calls up the cbi the cbi is not going to check with the prime minister that you know uh i have got a call from your office shall i do this and so on because they are too fr- frightened that their promotions will be stopped and so on and so forth so and then the prime minister also must be available so i have problems with the prime minister on the policy issues whether you know this is the correct policy whether we should uh, we are uh, we are fighting the chinese the way we should be fighting them or the economy but as far as these questions are concerned it's uh, too much to expect that the prime minister will get involved he's told then somebody comes and briefs yes sir we are moving in this matter and he moves on to something else so uh, it is required of our own members of parliament it is required of our own intellectuals and newspapers are all afraid when it comes to a matter like this because we, everybody knows that the cinema world is controlled by the daud ibrahim gang so they are afraid that if some of the azawi and ibrahim gang comes then what will happen to us so they i would say to the youngsters if you love mr uh, shishan singh uh, and you want to cherish his memory be courageous don't be afraid don't be all the time thinking about your career promotions and things like that think of what the country needs needs fearless people who will speak the truth and learn law and so that because i am an economist i'm not a lawyer but i go to court no no no, no judge ever questions me how have you come when you don't have a law degree so because they have seen me in action and I, so anybody can uh, you know learn law and uh, i would urge everybody uh, as possible learn. 
But as far as this matter is concerned, I was waiting for a breakthrough like this. And this Ruksha has provided me that breakthrough. And now it's going to be much easier to get to the bottom of who killed Shushant. Harwin? Yeah, no, uh, before already finished 50 minutes. I has to uh, give some answers. No, or you have given your answers. A year. Sarji, my lumbar questions, I am not able to keep up. Dusra question, Kyata Ji. Oh, Pradhya Pak, to a lumbar question, Dega Yapo. No, I'll cut the question. I mean, uh, 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 one, one small uh, comment I have, which you can also uh, uh, comment on that. Shri Iyer, you have brought out today names of some seven, eight people who were not in the public limelight. They were people did not know, and we can get from the comments whether it is Vijay Salgamkar missing or Priksha or Sami Sharma or Disha Shalyan was known, but not other people who are missing. Either people died on the same day or, 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 or in accident or something. Mysterious circumstances. How come the media? also did not highlight that for last almost two and a half years. 14th June, Sanji, there was one, 2020 uh, and now we are in 23. And by the way, uh, 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 it's a coincidence that today we are discussing this. Yesterday was Sushant Singh Rajput's birth anniversary. Oh my God. Yeah, it was birth yeah. anniversary of Sushant Singh Rajput yesterday. And uh, you had released your uh, uh, book, a fictional <laughs> book though, about him on that birth anniversary yes sir um you see the uh, there was one website from where i got all the names uh, that did talk about it there was a uh, there's also a video and that is the link i've given and i'll put that thing in the description field also we'll make sure that at uh, the vhs description field that link is there so people can understand there is a paragraph about each person why they are related how this has happened and so on and so forth. So that will give um, our viewers uh, more depth about how this happened. Is is it possible that some of these people were along with Sushant to in their new endeavor to try and make filmmaking cheap? That that is the important thing, Doctor Swami. I do know there's a new technology in Hollywood. I don't think Dawood and gang can stop that from coming to India. Uh, uh, I have not seen it, so I, I have to just say that. I've heard people say that you can make a professional film uh, in just four lakh dollars, four hundred thousand dollars, yeah, yeah, which is no, substantially uh, less. Dowd's, Dowd's influence will go down because his money power will be uh, yes. less valuable. But in this Sushant case, I I don't see his hands anywhere. So please go ahead, sir. You are going to come in, yeah. So I, I I'm only adding this that this appears to be. I'm coming around to this because of the kinds of names you have produced of suddenly mysteriously dying. That Shushant was a was a you know very interested in all these uh, gimmicks. I cannot give me these uh, uh, all, all these um, technology uh, gadgets, uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So and he was here as an educated guy. He was not uh, some uh, buddhu right. from uh, uh, you know who came into the film because he was good looking and he, he became a star. He uh, was a person who uh, had uh, these interests and he pursued them also while he was an uh, actor. So I think uh, I had got a tip about some time ago, but uh, it's your book uh, and uh, that uh, uh, Rupa, Shah. Rupa, 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 Shah. Shah, Rupa, Rupa Kumar Shah, uh, who, who convinced me that this is the time for us to reopen the whole matter. And I will certainly meet the uh, uh, many people are asking me when, 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 when. Well, I'm off uh, for, a, uh, for a lecture. Once I come back uh, sometime between Thursday and coming Thursday, Friday, I will, I will go to seek an appointment with the CBI director and ask him, what did you do with my letter? And what are you going to, uh, why are you not yet uh, making an announce? Or I will talk to uh, Jitendra Singh, who is the CBI uh, minister in chief, he's in the PMO, and uh, he's a very nice, uh, upright uh, uh, minister. And uh, of course, he's also uh, the same party as me, and so it'll be easy to talk to him. 
and uh, and see that I can generate some momentum. Once the matter moves, then many things come out. And your book has been the catalytic agent. Uh, think so. In the future, you deserve a medal uh, if we come to a final solution on this. Thank you, sir. Uh, I think it's uh, it would be actually for you, not for me, because you <laughs> you are the one who planted the seed in my mind. Okay, all right. <laughs> we can share the Arvind. prize. <laughs> Arvind. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Swami. Thank you, uh, Shri Airji. This is a subject which has been bothering uh, Indian. It's not only youth, but in Indian in, in people in general. Uh, that a film uh, uh, actor who is so popular suddenly uh, is accused that he committed suicide, and when the circum circumstantial evidences don't support the the suicide angle, and uh, uh, Mr. Shri Air in the beginning of this program today mentioned some other names related to the film industry, starting with something which happened about 30 years ago. He mentioned about Dibya Bharati. And then uh, uh, whether it is Shri Devi or whether it is other uh, actor, actors, so many people of television industry have also committed suicide in the recent past. Though the television is not as popular a medium as film is, and therefore maybe such, such kind of controversies were not discussed in public. But the, the, these are also uh, some of the mysteries which have to be unraveled and uh, uncovered. Uh, thank you, Dr. Swami, uh, for supporting P. Guru's uh, movement uh, uh, of uh, digging out the truth uh, and uh, investigating into the matters which people don't really uh, take it up because of they are afraid of political powers or whatever. Thank you, Mr. Sri Ayer. This is your sixth or seventh book, but all the books that you have written, uh, maybe all the fictions that you have written, I would say, uh, they, they, are, they are so close to reality. And in fact, I can only say that any uh, coincidence, this is only a coincidence if they uh, match with the real people or real events or uh, real names. Thank you very much. And this is something which will be really taken up by people because now, now those people who had started this movement earlier in 2020 after SSR's death, Dr. Swami is the alone uh, uh, single person who is still uh, uh, taking up this issue. And now what he has announced today will also satisfy many of the people who were demanding justice in case of SSR. Thank you, Jagdish. Thank you, Ramesh Swami. Thanks the technical team led by Ashish Shetty, Gadgi Rakesh, Ishwar Ayer, Tejas, Navalgul, uh, Vishal Mehta, Swaminathan, and Ajesh Nair. Uh, we will be meeting again next Sunday with another very interesting topic and Dr. Subramanian Swami. Uh, that is 29th of January. Till then, Namaskar.